I'm gonna build a honey warmer out of an old refrigerator. What is a honey warmer? It's just a box that's going to maintain a temperature of about 110 degrees to warm up honey when it crystallizes, turns to sugar. Why do I need one? Because our bees make somewhere between 300 and 500 pounds of honey a year. And after it sits on the shelf for a couple of months, it starts to turn to sugar. It's a natural process for raw honey. To get it back to the liquid honey that we all love, you just heat it up. But you don't want to get it too hot because then it starts to destroy all the good properties that we buy raw honey for. Let's take a look at what we got. I found this old refrigerator somebody was getting rid of. I don't need this much space, but I'm a homesteader and I'm always gonna need twice as much as what I think I'm gonna need. You don't have to have an old refrigerator to build one of these. You could build it out of a box and insulate it. You could use a cooler. Here's what I'm gonna put into it. I've got a light bulb fixture, an incandescent 100 watt bulb. I've got a little cage that I made out of hardware cloth. That's just to keep the jars from hitting the bulb and breaking it. I have an old appliance cord that I'm going to hook up to the light. And then I have this Inkbird thermostat. It's an ITC 308. I think it's the only one they make. This unit turns this on and off when it gets to the temperature desired. And lastly, I've got an on-off switch in line, so I can just easily turn the whole system on and off without having to dig behind to unplug it from the wall. I'm also going to use some grommets where I drill holes. I'm going to grab a drill, get some screws, put it all together. I'm going to put the light fixture in the back, in the corner, up in here, and in the center, I'm going to drill a hole, and it'll hide the wire coming in. Okay, I got the hole all the way through. Now, I'm just going to press this grommet into place. I'm going to use a small piece of wire. I'm going to connect my extension cord to the end of here so I can pull it through. I got it connected up. I covered the posts with electrical tape just because I'm going to tuck that hardware cloth behind there and I don't want anybody getting shocked. I also made cutouts so the hardware cloth doesn't come anywhere near those posts. There it is. I have room to screw in a light bulb. I put a jar in. If I slide it back, it's going to hit that frame and not my light bulb. Light bulb works. So far, so good. So the thermostat, I'm going to hang on the outside. There are three cords. One of them gets plugged into the wall to energize it. The second is a thermostat. I'm going to drill one small hole, put this into the refrigerator. And the third one is what I plug the light into on the heater side and it will go on and off as it gets to 110 degrees. Some of you may be thinking, well, that's a plastic inside. You're gonna melt it with that light bulb. It's only gonna stay at 110 degrees. That plastic is not gonna melt at 110. So I'm out of the thermostat. I drilled a little bit smaller hole for the thermostat probe. Then I'll put the grommets in and feed the probe through. I've got it lower than the light bulb because heat rises and I don't want it to shut off before the stuff on the bottom gets warm. The light bulb's up here, thermostat probe's over here. I'm just going to tape it to the wall, keep it out of the way. So this is it, thermostat unit. Got the light plugged in. That goes through to the light bulb and the thermostat probe. Just put some zip ties around the wires, tighten them up a little bit. And then this part gets plugged into the wall. This is only flashing because of the frame rate of the camera. It's not flashing in real life. It does say that it's heating. I've got it set to 110 Fahrenheit. It's currently 42.9 Fahrenheit in here. But when I close the door and it heats up to 110, it will go off. I'll move this into the garage. I'll load it with some honey. It should take between 24 and 48 hours. And our sugared honey will come back to life. By the way, I think this is a perfectly fine refrigerator. The folks got a new one, didn't want this one. The cord is broken. So I think if I repaired the cord, I could revert this back to a refrigerator at any time. Pull all this stuff off, plug the holes, and plug it in with a new cord. Um, the upper part, by the way, I'm just gonna use that for storage. And it may be storage of honey, maybe storage of something else. So here it is out in the garage. 
I moved the readout onto the front and that's just so I can read it a little better. It was around here on the side so it was easy just to move it and there's plenty of room to open that up. And inside I put some honey. So you can see just how thick this is. That's all sugared. Nothing wrong with it. It doesn't spoil. It just gets thick. So we'll come back in a day and maybe the guinea will stop yelling by then. And we will check the honey, see what it looks like. It's been about 24 hours. I moved the probe up because it was really warm up top and not very warm down below. But look at that. And it's turning liquid. The ones way far away, they're warm, they're moving, but they've still got another day to go. But I'm liking this. It's going to hold the temperature right at 110. Hope you found this useful. A honey warmer is not for everyone. If you just have a couple of jars, no. But if you raise bees and you have a lot of honey, this is the way to go. This is really nice. This is, this is all convenience for us. We will be using this all the time, and now when customers come to buy our honey, they're going to get it right out of here. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know, and we will see you soon on the homestead. Bye.